Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Nocte and this is Zaponia. So, what can I find here? Ooh, toilet. I'm gonna start with that. I've seen worse crappers than that. Same. Occupied. Uh, Are you ever coming out of there? Don't rush me. I'm suffering from severe temporal diarrhea. Temporal diarrhea? Yes, I'm a time traveler. You mean you come from the future? Nonsense. Oh, hold on. There is no future. Oh. I came from the past to watch the end of the world. Ah, uh, here we go again. Then you're in the wrong place. I'm the guy who's gonna prevent the end of the world. Oh! Mm. That would be very nice of you. Mm. I'm stuck here, you know. Why, is your time machine clogged? Not exactly. <sighs> There's no more toilet paper. Hey, that was irony. Naturally, I don't believe a word you've said. Well... <sighs> it wasn't exactly the whole truth. Ha! I knew it! There's... One roll of toilet paper left, but it's as rough as sandpaper. Oh, oh, and I had the chili during the toxic civil war. Oh. Okay. Let's pretend that I didn't hear anything. So what is this door? Circuits are scrambled. I shouldn't get up so fast. Or get a little exercise. Whoa! Don't creep up on me like that! Creep? I rang the bell. Phew! I thought it was my tinnitus. It wouldn't surprise me, though, with all that noise from the cruiser route, not to mention the cold draft or the mold, but I digress. Welcome to the Hotel Menetekel. Would you like to rent a room? Uh, maybe. Actually, I was just looking for my friends. A geriatric garden gnome, a girly giraffe, and a circus bear in a hat? That's them. Yeah, they just checked in. They didn't look like they could afford a lawyer, so I gave them room five. But don't worry. As long as they don't touch any light switches, electrical sockets, or load-bearing architecture, they should survive the night, provided they stay in their room after midnight, of course. Which reminds me, do you happen to have unfinished business with demons, dark gods, or the recently dead? Uh, not that I know. Know of. Super! That's all right then. You have no idea how squeamish some insurance companies can be when it comes to supernatural causes of death. Here's your key. Please have a pleasant stay here at Hotel Menetekel. This uh, was easy. Thank you, my good man. Are you insinuating that this place is haunted? Not at all. We're safe here in reception. It's the rooms I'd worry about, especially room 13. Why? What's wrong with room 13? Mm, let's just say it was a mistake to bury the Indians there. Oh yeah, and an apocalyptic cult has occupied the laundry. So if you need clean bedding, you should make sure you don't carry any religious insignia or virgins with you. Oh my god. I, I don't know why, but I'm all for this place. This is so good. How will I find my room? Oh, probably horrible. I wouldn't want to spend the night in there. Oh, why do I bother? Many Tekel. That's a strange name for a hotel. You think so? It's Many Tekel. I've always thought the name was cute. It means something like impending doom. But that's what I mean. Who wants to live with impending doom? Don't we all do that? Uh, right, but if you have a choice. But you don't. Or have you seen another hotel around here? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Strange location for a hotel, right under the Organon cruiser route. Hmm, you think so? Our surveys have shown that this is the ideal location for customers in our target group. Ugh. People without a sense of smell? People who are so desperate that they'll accept anything. Huh, <laughs> them. Haven't you heard the rumor that Deponia is going to be blown up? Of course! That's why popcorn is sold out everywhere. Well, it's all true. But I'm the one 
who's going to prevent it. That's fantastic. Now, I thought I would wind up having to do that. What? For one thing, I was forced to clean the toilet this week. Is that supposed to be a joke? <laughs> Got me. Of course I didn't clean the toilet. That'll be the day. Hello, I'm talking about the greatest catastrophe of all time. Ah, so you've already seen our toilet. <laughs> I'm going to my room. Yeah, do that. I won't stop you. And before you ask, that does not constitute an act of negligent bodily harm. You've had that check. Okay, what's this way? Oh, cafeteria. I don't think much of modern art, but this is good. It's drawn from the perspective of a person who unsuspectingly opens the urn of his dear departed mother and then dies of a heart attack because of the spring-loaded flowers popping out at him. <laughs> what a pity it's hanging so crooked. Aha! Here we have the perpetrator. <laughs> a nut. Who needs tools when he has hands like vice grips? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty slippery, my vice grips. Interesting. So why is there a knot here? Let's see if there's anything left in here. <laughs> uh, there actually was something left in there. <laughs> Dust. <laughs> is there more? Yeah. Okay, so this will be a puzzle part. <laughs> Is, that leads me to the exception. That would work not. <laughs> I know why am I why am I laughing at this? This was so such a bad joke. Ah, so this place is only that, okay. I saw there will be more here. Ah, the guest from number five. Are you gonna check out already? What? Uh no. Mm. Looks like I lost that bet. What can I do for you? I'm going to my room. Yeah, do that. Can I use the bell now? Be right there. <laughs> okay, let's see this place. I should know that is the hotel I think. This should be the laundry room. Yep. Hey. What's going on here? Home, hum, kumbaya. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, hello, you, uh, <laughs> you friendly hooded people who clearly belong to a uh, non-violent organization. Um, are you standing in line for the washing machine? Home, hum, kumbaya. Dooba 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 da baby. Uh, you wouldn't mind if I, if I go first, right? Okay. Act weird once for sure. No problem, pal. Boom, hum, kumbaya. Cool. <laughs> then if if I could just. Uh... Boom, hum, <laughs> kumbaya. No. <laughs> Darn. Can I talk with them? Um, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> Is this gonna take long? Boom, hum, kumbaya. Darn. That's pretty huge, considering there isn't a single bit of clean laundry in the entire hotel. Okay, it was good to come here first because I got bottle suit. Wait, that could work as toilet paper. <laughs> Great idea, but should I really risk such a dear friendship for such a cheap gag? Yes. Of course I should. Here, this should work. Are you out of your mind? <sighs> oh, how am I supposed to flush that? Man, you must be from the Jurassic Age. <laughs> Jurassic. <laughs> ass, your ass, Jurass, Jurassic. It's, it's a... Great job, Rufus. 
Occupied. Uh, Still? Oh, come on. You can't stay in there forever. I most certainly can. I have a time machine. That is true. That is a valid argument. Wow, freshly washed. <laughs> I don't see a difference. Okay. Let's see our room. Um, I don't know what are these numbers. Huh? Easy. I hear something. And the destroyer will pass through this door, and he will bear the sign of the beast. I know that voice. That's N. A dull knocking will precede his arrival, and he will say, "Ow! Oh, 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 that's gonna, that's gonna leave a bum out." Hey! Don't mock me. You wait a second. Oh! I know you. You're very busy. No, you're the guy with the pipe. The soothsayer from Porta Fisco. No, I'm not. You're a liar. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Which basically disqualified me from being a soothsayer, doesn't it? Uh, that's just hair splitting. I still think you're the fortune teller. Ah, I'm often confused with someone else. For example, with Ansgar Meatcap, the famous hat model. Are you pulling my leg? Why? We go to the same barber. Come on, I recognize you. What are you hiding? Hmm? Nothing. Unlike Ansgar, that vain fop. Hmm. Are you planning on going on a journey? Just a little fishing trip. But it looks like you've completely pulled up stakes. I'm hunting big fish. And that's why you're taking all your living room furniture? My house sitter has the mumps. Hmm. What was that mumbling just now? Are you talking to yourself? I don't know what you're getting at. It sounded like some sort of dubious apocalyptic sermon, like you might expect from some sinister sect leader. Yes, that. I was just rehearsing a song for my niece's birthday party. And the destroyer will come through this door? People, the destroyer, king of comedians, do 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 da. And he will bear the sign of the beast? He bears the sign of the beast. He does an elephant impression. Be do do be do. Bo bo be hey. Be bo bo hey. Congratulations, Emil. Louis. Emma Louis? Yeah, it's a popular girl's name on the Chapinot Coast. Mm. <laughs> I love it that he even have the cool uniform. I'm telling you, that hood has two holes on it. What's with the strange outfit? Are you in some weird sect? This is just a bathrobe from the hotel. Oh yeah? Did the hotel also embroider the end is nigh on there? They mean the end of the early bird booking period. The end of the early bird booking period is nigh. Book your vacation at Hotel Meniteco now. Hmm. You don't happen to know those guys from the laundry room. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, they're carrying candles, singing in minor keys, and they're wearing the same outfit as you. Well, I wouldn't worry about it. Probably just a harmless glee club. They painted a pentagram on the floor. Ah, circle of fifths. No doubt about it. Ah! <laughs> Stop pretending. I see through you. Oh dear. That was to be expected. Of course, you were right. I am the fortune teller. But... I don't like to use my abilities. Oh yeah, there's nothing but junk on for the future, right? More precisely, there's nothing on. The world is coming to an end. Huh? Yes, that was also my first reaction. The second was to pack all my things up and run away. But that's nonsense. I know, one cannot escape one's fate. Exactly, you have to come to terms with it. What? No! That is why I gathered like-minded people around me, to prepare for the unavoidable together. You founded an apocalyptic sect? Hey, can you think of a better time? <laughs> the world won't end today. Correct. It will happen tomorrow, shortly before the late news. Ha! Not if I can prevent it. Also true. Unfortunately, you can't. Tch, we'll see about that. Wrong. Our eyes will have long since burned away when it happens.
Oh, you know better about everything, huh? Yes, an occupational hazard. I'm gonna put a stop to your bunch of superstitious yahoos. But we aren't doing anything wrong. Oh, of course not. You just want to call down the end of the world. Oh, we do not. The end can no longer be stopped. All that is left to us is to prepare for it spiritually. Spiritually? I see. So you're getting hammered. A sort of rap party for the planet. Quite the contrary. It is a matter of symbolically washing ourselves clean of our sins before the end comes. <laughs> So just soft drinks? I'd rather go to the real Satanists. At least they know how to party. <laughs> Your pals are clogging up the laundry. Patience, my friend. The ritual won't take long. Yeah? What are they waiting for then? I need to use the washing machine. Well, they are waiting for their guru, of course, for me. Then what are you doing here? I am preparing for my big speed. The world doesn't come to an end every day. I want to look good. <laughs> what makes you think the world will come to an end? The signs were clear. Last night, the horizon was in flames. Oh, you don't mean my barbecue, do you? Then, it rained fire from the heavens. Yeah, okay. I shouldn't have used the cheap briquettes. And frogs? I, I told Doc they weren't done yet. Finally, the water of the ocean turned to blood. Okay, I get it, I get it. My little barbecue party got a bit out of control. So what? But that doesn't make me a horseman of the apocalypse. Yeah, I, I know it said so on the flyer, but that was just for PR. Aha! Uh -huh. Can I have your robe? No, but if you participate in our ritual, you will get your own. Are you nuts? There's absolutely no way I'm going to take part in your eerie apocalyptic sock hop. <laughs> it is a self-purification ritual to cleanse you of your sins. It is a matter of symbolically washing ourselves clean of our sins before the end comes. What sins? I'm busy saving the world. Strictly speaking, I'm sort of a saint, and I already washed this week. I have seen it otherwise. I don't like this guy, because I think he might be right. I don't want this to not be able to be saved. Oh, come on! Give me your robe! No, these robes are intended only for people who are willing to wash themselves clean. Oh, spare me. I'm out of here. I have seen it otherwise. What are you doing here, anyway? I am preparing for my big speed. The world doesn't come to an end every day, but... I see. Well, this could take a while. Tja, you're beyond help. As are we all. Hey! Leave Mr. Toffee alone. Mr. Toffee! Ooh, I see an invitation for a fabulous prank. <laughs> I'm already laughing myself silly. <laughs> Wait, dust? Absurd humor is okay in itself, but I can't waste this unique opportunity on another cheap pun. I'm thinking of the fans who love my pranks for their cryptic ambiguity. Um, okay. What could I really put in then? This plan could do with some uh, spicing up, but I was thinking along somewhat different lines. Oregano. Just 15 more hotel restaurants, and I got me a chess set. One causes coughing, the other sniffles. <laughs> that makes 50% of the symptoms of whooping pox. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> But I can't waste this unique opportunity. I'm thinking of the fans. Okay, I don't know what to do with that hood. <laughs> like taking candy from a baby, just with fewer cavities. <laughs> yeah. But I can't. I'm think. One thing causes that makes. One causes cough. That makes. One thing that. Ma okay, none of these do anything. I'll move on to the next room. How is the time? Time is good. Huh. Locked. 
Go? No answer. Good. I'm glad that it was locked. What if I fail and the world really does end? Oh no! I am the greatest. Interesting. She actually thought his true thinking for a moment. His true mindset. I am the. Definitely, Rufus. Locked. Doc? No answer. But there's somebody in there. I hear voices. <laughs> it fits. So this is number five. There's nobody here. <laughs> That's nice. Then I can come in. What? No, stop. Too late. Uh, hello? You there? Under the sheet? There's nobody under the sheet! Don't be silly. I can see you. You're seeing a ghost? Can't be. I don't believe in ghosts. Especially not the creepy sort that hang around in dark hotel rooms and are eternally trapped between worlds until their poor souls finally find relief. I'm not a ghost. And it would be a release if you would disappear. Not so hasty. If you aren't a ghost, what are you doing here all by yourself? In the dark, right next to that peephole into the next room. Um, I... Ooh, I am a ghost! Go away, or you will feel my supernatural ghostly strength! Unless, of course, you're from room service. I am room service. Very well. Then please clear away the dishes by the door. Oh. Huh? But there aren't any dishes, but... Oh, just a sec. There's something here after all. Ow! Shards! Ow! Another shard! And... Aha! Uh -huh. This isn't a shard. It's a knife. Ouch! Oh, I got a knife. Hey, stay by the door where I can see you. I thought I was supposed to go away. Yes, right. Go away. Hey, can't you make up your mind? Uh, before I go. Oh my, this is where the sheet hits the fan. <laughs> hey, why does a ghost need room service? <laughs> to change the sheets. Keep your hands off my sheet. <laughs> sure thing. I can imagine how uncomfortable it is when the edge gets tucked so far under the mattress. A friend of mine once got caught in a laminating machine. He cried all night long. Fortunately, I remembered how to shut the machine off the next morning. Uh, uh-huh. But as I said, this is not about the sheet. Just clear away the dishes. And why do you need dishes? For a midnight snack? Oh, yeah. Logical. I don't think you're a ghost. And how, may I ask, did you come to that conclusion? Very simple. Ghosts only appear to those who blame themselves for something. They're sort of like a guilty conscience made material. Uh, guilty conscience? Me? You have some ideas. You better believe me. I blame myself for absolutely nothing. Oh, come on. Everybody has some guilty secret. Maybe. Yeah, I don't have any guilty secrets. Not a single one. Why else would Gold take me with her to Elysium? In the short time we've known each other, I've already thrown her from a moving Organon cruiser twice, poured espresso made from battery acid down her throat, uh, split her mind into three, and this morning, I accidentally grouted the baby turtle she tried to nurse back to health with quick-drying cement. But she forgave me for everything. My conscience is clear. Have you ever thought that maybe it isn't a matter of whether this goal forgives you, but whether you forgive yourself? Whoa, that would be totally egotistical. I don't think so. Okay, fine, I forgive myself. There, and now? What, and now? Well, you're still here. If you were really a manifestation of my guilty conscience, wouldn't you have dissolved now or 
something? <laughs> Maybe I have to forgive myself. Of course! Just like in My Friend the Phantom Astronaut. Come on, hop to it. Just, just forgive yourself. It's not that easy. I am really very ashamed of myself. Well, how are you going to find redemption then? Well, I thought I'd just stand here in the dark and fight against it. Oh, man, what a crybaby. <laughs> All right. What's your guilty secret then? Isn't it obvious? You're a bedwetter? Rubbish. Look at where I am. In a dark hotel room. Next to? A hole in the wall. And what does that tell you? Oh, I got it. You like to drill holes. No. Huh? But, uh, wait a second. You don't mean... Yep, I like to listen to people while they sit in the shower. <laughs> I mean, what trouble? That's closer right there. Ah, guilty schmilty. Let's talk about something else. Gladly. Can I turn on the light? There is no light here. Only darkness and shame. Charm? Shame! Oh yeah, charm. I'm very charming. No shame! Good grief, you must know shame. Oh, uh, yeah, shame, of course. <laughs> Those little, uh, shame-shaped things. Shame, yeah, sure. Hey, nice sheet. Keep your hands off my sheet. Do you need it much longer? As long as you're here, yes. And I'm sticking with it. No haunting without a guilty secret. Yes, and? Ah, guilty schmilly. Gladly. Well, I was just leaving. I should be so lucky. Excuse me? Um, uh, be gone. Be gone! Ooh! <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that's better. Hey, stay by the door. Okay. I thought I was... Yes. Hey, can't you make up your... I'm gonna leave this place. It's time to end the episode, but first I want to check the next floor as well. Ooh. Who needs change when he's got magic fingers and an undeniable knack for vending machines of every sort? <laughs> Ouch. I'm kind of glad this happened. Wow! With a fun slime troll and one out of every five pies! Rad! And all these years I thought they weren't allowed to make these anymore. Oh, it's a puzzle. Okay, what about this? Ha! <laughs> Did it! Rufus won! Entropy zero. The heating, not that I couldn't switch it back on any time. I'm thinking here primarily of the environment. Okay, so what does I do now? Who needs change? Ouch. What did I do? Rufus won. Ah, it was the heater. Okay, I get it. You can find the craziest stuff in the trash. What? This was unexpected. Huh, a pelican. That's not crazy. Mildly odd, maybe. The pelican won't let me dig through the fish guts. Even though it's just half-heartedly poking around it, I can see that it's not hungry. What if I sold them? Let's see if it appreciates me spicing things up a little. This world. 
Don't mention it. Too late. The pelican has eaten it. Eh, it's my own fault. Curse my culinary talent. The pelican has eaten it. Wait, what if I add some pepper? Feeding time for the pelicans is over. Next, I'm gonna watch the penguin show at the penguinarium. There's a leak there. Okay. Too late. The pelican is... Eh, it's my own. Anyway, that was all for this episode. Thank you for watching. And we'll continue from here in the next one. We even did a puzzle. Bye.